Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog on the Youth YouTube channel. Uh, it's really great to be able to talk to you guys again. I really enjoy shooting these videos. Um, we're really looking forward to a great youth rally in GAN this coming Friday, so I hope all of you can be there. It's going to be a great time of worship. And I just wanted to update you tonight about um, the topic of salvation. We um, haven't really talked about that on the youth YouTube channel and I know it's it's a topic that needs to be addressed because it's very important that's the foundation of our relationship with God is to experience salvation so I wanted to share with you what I've gleaned from the Word of God and you can give me your questions your comments your concerns we can talk in person but I just wanna get this out there and then we'll go from there um, so first of all, in order to experience salvation, in order to experience a relationship with God, you need to believe that He exists. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please Him. That's talking about God. And the person who comes to God needs to believe that God exists and that He rewards those that diligently seek Him. So that means He rewards the people that seek after Him, that look to have a relationship with Him. So that is the building block and the foundation of salvation, which um, is the first step. And then we need to recognize our sinful state. So without us recognizing that without God we're sinners, then there's no need for us to change or do anything differently than we've already done. Romans 3 and 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, all of us have made mistakes, all of us have a sinful nature to start out with. We need God. So that's the second thing. And then we need to ask the question, what do I need to do? And that's probably the stage most of you are at. I think most of you, if you're connected with the youth group at all, you believe that God exists and you recognize that hey and myself I can't make the positive decisions that I want to I can't live free of sin without God so this is probably the stage you're at okay we can go from there um, Acts 2 and 37 there were a bunch of people that felt really convicted so they recognized hey there's something wrong here what do we need to do so in King James Version, this is Old English, it says they were pricked in their heart. That means they were convicted. They felt bad. Um, and they said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, so, hey guys, what do we need to do? And then Peter says to them, repent. So that means you're right here now. You recognize, okay, what I've been doing is wrong. I turn around. I'm going in the opposite direction and God I'm asking for you to wipe my slate clean take away all of my bad decisions take away everything in my past put it behind me and God I want to walk with you from now on that's repentance and that's the first step and that's a step that a lot of people recognize there are a couple other things we're going to talk about that a lot of churches don't talk about but they're essential as well so building on top of that, he says, And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. So, baptize means to immerse or bury. So, um, just like John the Baptist did in the Bible, you need to be baptized or immersed in water so that your sin can be remitted or washed away, removed from you so that you don't have to deal with that anymore. And that's when you take on Jesus' name. That's when you become part of the family of God, we call it, because you have taken on Jesus' name in baptism. And then he gives us the promise that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And according to the Bible, and my experience, and the experience of lots of other people, the initial sign of the receiving of the Holy Ghost is speaking in other tongues so that is speaking in a language that you've never learned that no one has taught you or coached you but something that is divinely given so um, it's not 
something that's from you. It's something that's from God in that he's speaking through you. The Bible talks about how life and death are in the tongue. Your mouth is very powerful. You can totally destroy someone based on what you say. Because your mouth is so powerful, to symbolize God now being inside of you, his Holy Ghost being resident in your heart, he speaks through you in another language that you're not controlling. And that is what demonstrates and shows that God's now in your life. And he's there to lead you and guide you and protect you and help you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And that's the power that the people in the book of Acts experienced. And that's the power that I've experienced. So if you have questions about that, I know that's something that's bizarre to a lot of people in the religious community. And that's something that not very many people out there understand. But it's something that's essential. And that is where the power comes from to live a transformed life. The power of the Holy Ghost. So all of these are necessary because it, he goes on to say, the promise is to you and to your children and to all those that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. So some people say, oh, speaking in other tongues and the Holy Ghost and all of this being baptized in Jesus' name stuff, that was just for the people back in Bible times. That doesn't apply to us today. On the contrary, the Bible talks about how it's essential for us today. And for those who think that being baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is fulfilling salvation, show me one place in the Bible where someone was baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost with those titles being said over them rather than the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus said, go and baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. But what is that name? What is that name that he was talking about? The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That name is Jesus Christ. And that's the only name where you can find salvation. And after all of this instruction, I just want to remind you that faith without action is dead. Faith without works is dead. So if you can hear this and you say, Oh yeah, yeah, I believe this is good stuff that he's talking about. And you don't do anything about it. It's not effective. It doesn't do anything. So it's my challenge to you. Experience salvation because there's nothing like it and that's what empowers you to live a life of victory. So have an awesome week. Um, comment below. I'm going to be posting lots of other video updates. Have a great time and I'm praying for you.